evening, I'm Richard Feidler and welcome to Race Around the World. First on tonight is Daniel Marsden. Daniel's gone from London to Cairo, where he called on a contact given to him by racer teammate Scott Herford, who had just been through the Egyptian capital himself. The contact was a Swedish belly dancer working with her own band around Cairo's nightclubs. Daniel spent a few days with the band's singer called Samir El Hosseini. When you're in a big scary place like Cairo, it's always nice to be reminded that no matter where you are, no matter how strange or bizarre things are, you can always play your air guitar. This is the story of a real rock and roll musician in Cairo, Egyptian style. عايزة تروح لك وانت بعيدة بعيدة حياتي شبه الحياة أي موسيقي في مصر أو أي فنان بصفة عامة عمل بالليل ونوم بالنهار عايش أنا طبعا لوحدي أنا وبوسي أحيانا بخلص الساعة واحدة وأحيانا الساعة ثلاثة مساء طبعا بعد كده بحب أوي إني أروح أقعد على القهوة أو على الكافيتيريا مع أصحابي نشوف أخبار الشغل ونشوف أو نعرف أخبار بعض طبعا المزيكا جميلة يعني انا بحمد ربنا وبشكر ربي انه اداني الموهبة والنعمة دي الحب جميل الحب طبعا احساس جميل في وسط كل ده وهو زاد الفنان والحقيقة انا كشاب يعني اكيد ليه تجارب واكيد عرفت والحقيقة انا خطبت مرة كان عندي الإمكانيات متوسطة ويعني ما كانش عندي إمكانيات كافية للزواج ولكني اتقدمت لخطبة الفتاة دي فتاة مصرية وكانت جارتي وطبعا حصل بينه وبينها خلافات كتير زي أي اتنين زي ما قلت قبل كده ولكن في خلافات بتترك جروح وفي خلافات بتترك علامات سيئة جدا وصعبة جدا على النفس وخصوصا بتكلم عن نفسي بقى في الحالة دي صعب هي خلت بيني وبينها سدود فظيعة جدا سدود كبيرة جدا وموانع عميقة جدا تمنعنا من الجواز أو تمنعني أنا من إني أقدر أديها اسمي رغم إنها إنسانة مؤدبة جدا وكويسة جدا ولكن الحياة العملية خدتها لدرجة إن إحنا ثلاث سنين مخطوبين كنا بنتقابل مرة واحدة كل أسبوع و وي ستيل فريندز بس صفاء make problems many problems with me I cannot see her I cannot feel anything inside me for her so that I cannot I cannot marry her after one hour maybe I will see a beer this person like me in many things. They look to life as me. They think as me. I, I feel always happy when I see her, when I speak to her, when she listens to me. Maybe, I hope, but I don't know what will happen. But I need one like her. To be exactly, I need her. But I, I cannot know what will happen in the future. I hope, I hope. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Goodbye. And that was Daniel Marsden in Cairo. What do you think, Peter? I thought it was a terrific evolution from the story of a Cairo nightclub singer who's talking about music and the importance of love in the role of music and then the importance of love in his life and then talking about the love of his life. I really like the sting in the tail. I, I actually thought at the end that what the guy 
uh, was saying was that, you know, he needed to find a woman who was exactly as he was and he seemed to be quite narcissistic to me at the end and I was quite charmed by him at the beginning. I got the impression that Daniel was the woman of his dreams actually by the end. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, the goodbye my love was a bit of a yeah, giveaway there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I thought in the middle of the film when, the, um, when he started talking about love that the images weren't quite gelling with what was being said and unfortunately having to read the subtitles I became a bit distracted between the two. But um, I, was, I really thought it was a good evolution of a story and I gave it 14. 14, lovely. Cherie? Well, Pete thought it was a bit more cohesive than me actually. I, I thought the intro was good but um, I was expecting the story to evolve into something more about um, Egyptian music and instead it became a story about his failed romantic life and I couldn't... I, he, I found him incredibly creepy, that guy. So I was interested <laughs> and, I, and I, I was thinking maybe he's asked that Swedish... Um, belly dancer out and I thought no he's just made that up but anyway I, I, I was entertained 14. 14 okay Tony. Geez, they thought about it a lot more than I did. <laughs> uh, I gave it 15 I mean call me a big soppy pillow but I thought it was really sweet and I thought uh, you know he was actually seemed quite nice to me and the idea that it wasn't just a profile of a musician it was about love which is I guess the greatest inspiration for most music so I thought really nicely shot again and Daniel's got a great eye so I did.